Dear friends and colleagues of GS1 India, congratulations for your 25th anniversary. What you have achieved is really impressive and amazing. And this is, has been thanks to leaders like Ravi, like Swami, and your whole organization, your leadership. I still remember when I visited the GS1 India many years ago, and I had the opportunity of meeting your key manufacturers, retailers, and regulators, and understand the challenges of your country. And the results are impressive. 26,000 users of the GS1 system and over 1 million GTINs in the global registry. Really amazing. And looking forward, what the pandemic has shown us is that uh, the, the world will need the GS1 standards, the GS1 services, because the pandemic has accelerated the transformation, the digital transformation with your brain, with your passion, with your innovation. I'm pretty sure that you will continue being one of the role models for the organization, for the good of the Indian users, GS1 India, and the whole GS1. My congratulations to all of you. Dear colleagues from GS1 India, congratulations for your 25th anniversary and for all your contributions to the GS1 strategy. As you know, the global GS1 strategy is to empower industry's digital transformation to ultimately benefit consumer and patients. GS1 India embodies perfectly this strategy. And I would like to mention two examples where you have truly empowered industry digital transformation. The first one is the specific program you have implemented to help small and medium-sized companies going through the acceleration of e-commerce during the pandemic. And the second one is your partnership with vaccine manufacturers and government bodies to uh, raise the safety of the vaccine supply chain. These two examples illustrate perfectly how GS1 can help companies of all sizes in retail, marketplace, and healthcare. But helping these companies today is not enough. You are also innovating for the future. The creation of the Data Card Center for Excellence, in partnership with the Midas Research Lab, around AI and machine learning for data quality and image quality is a perfect example of your leadership moving into the future. In summary, you are a lighthouse for the entire GS1 community in digitalization. A big thank you for that. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to congratulate the GS1 India board, leadership team, staff, and community on the momentous occasion of your Silver Jubilee. I have had the honor to work with the GS1 India team on many strategic global projects over the years, and I'm grateful for the expertise and generosity they have shown the global office and the whole federation. GS1 India is a strong partner, always customer centric, always with high standards, always challenging us all to do better and to be better. I have to say that GS1 is better because of the excellence GS1 India has brought to the organization over the last 25 years. I would like to provide a reflection on a recent project that we worked on together, verified by GS1. Over the three years, GS1 India has led the way by connecting the data card solution to the GS1 registry platform. I'm not sure if you know this, but in the first hours of the GS1 registry platform in June of 2019, GS1 India was among the first to upload GTINs showing the world what is possible. Not only was GS1 India among the first to leverage verified by GS1, they are also among the best. Today, GS1 India has uploaded more than 1.1 million GTINs to the GS1 registry platform with 100% completeness and a very high data quality score, thanks to their strong processes and the development of an app for companies to capture product images in an easy way. Once again, GS1 India turned a challenge into a solution. The achievements of GS1 India speak to their inspired vision and expertise, but what is most remarkable to me is the graceful way that the GS1 India team operates with great humility, customer focus, and excellence in all that they do. 
I am grateful to have the opportunity to partner with GS1 India on projects that bring value to those we serve. And I am humbled to have this opportunity to congratulate you all on this joyous occasion. Thank you. Congratulations from all my heart to GS1 India on your 25th anniversary. Healthcare has always been an important sector for GS1 India. When I started at Global Office many, many years ago, the CEO of GS1 India at that time, Ravi Mathur, was already very much engaged in healthcare, also on a global level and supported all our global activities and uh, supported global harmonization, which is very important. It has been a true pleasure over all the years for my team and myself to work with the colleagues at GS1 India, including the new CEO, Swami Nathan. Working with colleagues who are extremely knowledgeable, who are well-informed and well-connected. And let's not forget, India was one of the countries which moved forward with legislation ahead of many countries already 10 years ago with a legislation which was requesting that all pharmaceutical drugs for export would be identified with the GS1 data metrics, including the GTAN, serial number, lot number, and expiry date. And that is today the approach which regulatory bodies across the world have taken, mandated in over 75 countries across the world and supported by WHO. GS1 India has helped to implement this with their users but also with the global community. And nobody who was there will ever forget the 36th Global GS1 Healthcare Conference in New Delhi, hosted and co-organized by GS1 India and Global Office, a true team effort, which resulted in record participation, exciting plenary and breakout sessions, and think tank, which was chaired by an Indian official and a truly wonderful, enchanted networking event, which we all will never forget. Congratulations again to 25 years of dedication and commitment, and thanks for all the hard work on increasing patient safety and supply chain efficiency for patients across the world. Let's not forget, safer, more efficient care starts with a simple scan, and you make that happen. GS1 has 115 member organizations around the world. We create global standards. We even now offer global services to facilitate the adoption of these global standards. More and more do we see one vision. More and more do we act as one organization. We even now speak with one voice now that we have the GS1 global brand for our marketing activities. And yet, Member organizations have a critical local role to serve the local industry in the markets where they operate. And GS1 India is, has done tremendously with this duality of local and global. For example, the people of GS1 India have been very actively engaged to the development of the global standards and to the numerous work groups that we have to develop these. I know that it has been a 25 a fantastic 25 years for GS1 India. And I know that the next 25 years will see a further increased role for GS1 India. I wish you a great meeting, a tremendous celebration of this 25th anniversary to all the GS1 India team, the GS1 India board, and the GS1 India stakeholders. All the best.